what is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. So we're really like blind people groping around with these feeble little senses to determine what reality is. If you want to see fear in a quantum physicist's eyes, just mention the words, the measurement problem. The measurement problem is this. An atom only appears in a particular place if you measure it. In other words, an atom is spread out all over the place until a conscious observer decides to look at it. So the act of measurement or observation creates the entire universe. Today, a young man on acid realized that all matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration that we are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. There is no such thing as death. Life is only a dream, and we're the imagination of ourselves. And this is exactly what mystics have been trying to tell us for so many years, that, that the world is an illusion, and that the real uh, world and universe is a non-physical. And one of the basic assumptions about of quantum physics is the quantum wave nature of all matter. That matter, uh, unobserved, matter on its own, uh, moves and vibrates in, in, in waves. But waves of what? Are they water waves? Are they sound waves? Are they electrical waves? No, they're actually waves of nothing. The bottom line is this. Everything is conscious. Uh, what we call creation is a, a, like an ocean of infinite energy, um, which is manifesting itself in different 1944. The father of quantum physics, Max Planck, identified the existence of this field, and he called it the matrix. He said, underlying everything that we see, our bodies included, everything we see in the world around us and our bodies, he said, there is the existence of, of what must be a conscious and intelligent mind. This is his language in 1944.